Everything is a drum. Hey! What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI, Bob Mortimer on uh, Would I Lie to You? I don't know what this show is. Is this where, like, um, I guess it's just do you tell a story and people have to guess on whether it's a lie or if it's the truth. If, that, if that's the case, that's very friggin' interesting. But we're gonna have a look at two videos of uh, old Mortimer himself on this show. One is called Did Bob Mortimer Lose His Teeth to a Kit Kat Chunky? And the other is Bob Mortimer I Once Broke Into the Garden of the Local Witches something or other. Can't say the rest of the title. This video might live on Patreon if there's copyright issues. So if you do want to support the channel and get early access to my Taskmaster, Brooklyn shits, movies, Nathan for you for another couple of weeks. Patreon.com slash FWCI, five dollar redos is all it costs to uh, support the channel, get early access, and uh, when videos like this have copyright issues, you can watch it as soon as uh, I finish recording it and editing it. You don't have to wait maybe 30 days for it to finally go live. The reason I'm watching this is because uh, heaps of people in the comments have told me that Bob Mortimer is really funny on this particular show and I've never heard of it and I think Bob Mortimer has been pretty funny in the first few episodes of Taskmaster Season 5 which I'm on at the moment but let's see the man in his element. Recently had to pull out of a TV show because my teeth fell out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And why had your teeth fallen out? Because I bit on a Kit Kat Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is true. I'm gonna say true. <laughs> now you bite into a curly whirly, you ain't never getting those teeth back, right? <laughs> but when you say the lack of suction. Mm -hmm. What in God's name? I know what he means. Like you bite and you're like, Mwah, like that chewy. But it's yeah. not suction, is it? it, it it's suction for sure. It is a sort of suction, it, it, it sticks yeah, and then it pulls. I remember this it's... guy, Tim Lee or something? I watched him play Carrot in the Box. Kit Kat Chunkies in the fridge. So it was very hard, so it's like biting into a rock and... <laughs> <laughs> are those yes. drawers that are refrigerated? Yeah. Oh, uh, they're been... very fancy. Oh, <laughs> what a purchase, yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you bit into it with abandon, <laughs> yet you lost... what? Four top teeth. <laughs> no way. Oh. Nine. Nine? <laughs> what the hell? The girth of the Kit Kat Chunky is not nine teeth. Oh. oh my God, this is... Is it true or not? Because I can... Oh, it depends on the size of your... Would you... You wouldn't buy it? Oh my God, this show is fucked. This show is going to do my head in. I'm going to lay awake at night. Oh, let's... Okay, I get to find out whether this is real or not, yeah? Fucking hope so, otherwise this is gonna wreck my brain. You wanna think around that. Why? Because it might help you to decide whether it's true or false. No, no, no. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> what shit is this? Why would he go for nine? Mm. Wouldn't he go for a more believable number if he was oh, making is it, it up? a double bluff? Do they each get their own answer or is it like the team has to answer collectively? It's a lie. It's a lie. You think it's, it's a, a lie? lie. Going it's a lie. lie? I don't know what I think. All right. I was telling the what? truth. What? <laughs> oh my god. That Kit Kat Chunky destroyed his whole mouth, man. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that story is unsettling, man. <laughs> I would hate that. I've only had to have like one tooth ever removed and I don't know what the hell happened to it I just bit into a sandwich nothing even that like crazy at work one day and this little bolt of lightning just shot into my fucking brain through my tooth and I immediately went like white as a ghost and walked up to my boss and she's like you don't look very good and I'm like I think I need to go to the dentist and um it's it, towards the back I was like fuck it just rip it out but oh man nine of them all thanks to a Kit Kat chunky that is insane. I think I was pretty certain that it was true throughout the entire time, just because, yeah, something that outrageous. Like, it, it, it is, it does sound more unbelievable than believable. All right, what do we got? Bob Mortimer, I once broke into the garden of the local witch's house. Oh, Jesus. Like when he was a kid or something? On a dark winter's night, I once broke into the garden of the local 
witch's house and was shocked by what I found there. <laughs> what the fuck did you find there? I'm going to guess somewhere between when I was 11 and 13. 12. <laughs> and all the kids said that the witch lived. And who did it, live there? Um, I don't know their name. Right. I'll call them Mary Candles. <laughs> On the front gate, it said simply the words, no thanks. No. Really? Oh, that's a creepy house, yeah. You're, you started that with saying you were shocked by what you saw there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with telling you that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> just yet? Why? <laughs> However absurd, it could still be true. <laughs> It's like that is a Bob is a legend on this show. So you were only speculating it must be a witch rather than a wizard because it was an unkempt garden, unkempt garden. with no sign of deficient plumbing. <laughs> it's on a big picture window, looked inside, and that's when we saw this extraordinary sight. Well, extraordinary. Tell me what the goddamn thing was, Bob. Tiny horse. <laughs> That was all that was in the room, was a tiny horse and a television on. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, and she said to me, you're one of the Mortimer boys, aren't you? <laughs> oh, shit. And she had a toilet seat in her hand. <laughs> and she said, if I gave you some money, do you think you could get rid of this for me? <laughs> what? Did she say what the horse's name was? Max. Max? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You'd have thought minimum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lee. All right, Lee. <laughs> you say it's a lie. lie. Uh, I reckon it's a lie. I reckon it's a lie. They're yeah. saying it's a lie. Now we should bear in mind that when it comes to Bob, David has a very poor track record. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> I was telling the truth. No! What a tiny horse named Max was in a lady's house. The witch's house. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but I want you to let me know down in the comments which uh, stories from Would I Lie To You should I have a look at on the channel. If there's any that get brought up multiple times by different people, then uh, maybe I'll check it out and do more reactions to this on the channel. But if you like Bob Mortimer, go check out my Taskmaster Season 5 reactions, whatever they are. Is episode 1 up now? Yeah, Episode 1's up now. Go check that out. Subscribe, go to Patreon, all the rest of it. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace! Most special cuddle wins. Oh, Alex, wow. you have 20 minutes. That could mean a lot of things. Jesus, this is awful. <laughs> She's not happy. Uh, and you know, I'm a streetwise gal and there's plastic everywhere and a white man and a camera. You're like, I'm going to have to wank this guy off. <laughs> we should start with Nish Kumar. Nish, sorry, not Nesh. I'll get it. I'll get it. Get me to like episode three and I'll have the names figured out. Oh, come on. Are we starting it now? Yeah, yeah, let's start the cuddle now. There you go, pop your head in that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <And then> what? <laughs> what a nice cuddle. That actually looks really comfortable. <laughs> sexy cuddle butt 5000. It's me. Sexy cuddle butt 5000. Why is it a sexy cuddle butt? It can just be a nice cuddle butt, right? I'm gonna cuddle you real good. You can be sure of that. Cuddle you. This is so awkward. How'd you like that? I like it. You want more, big boy? I'll have a little bit more, please. Okay. <laughs> What the hell is Greg going to have to say about this? That's how you respond to uh, feeling a little bit sexually threatened. You, you dress as uh, an overtly sexual yeah. puddle robot. Hoovering off all the, 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 the sex out of his lad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> Come on in. Um... Oh! How does that feel? It's very low. Why is this taking place in the boot of a car? Bob Mortimer, what is your deal? I'll give one little squeeze and that completes my special cuddle. <laughs>
<laughs> was that the deodorant? That was the deodorant. Ah, right. <laughs> and it wasn't so bad in there, was it, Alex? No, you sang Have You Seen the Muffin Man to me. <laughs> well, I found myself genuinely jealous when you were in the boot with Bob. <laughs> um, really? So I'm putting that in first place. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How? Why?